Hey, what's up, Internet? Uh, today is uh, a day I want to talk about Internet privacy when it comes to social media profiles and who owns the content that you put online. Um, as you surely know, when you post something on places like Facebook or Google, G plus YouTube stuff like that uh, you know they own a copy of your content even if Instagram says you own your photos that's great but the bottom line is they own control to your account and what that means is that if they don't like something that you post for whatever reason or if somebody complains about something you post for whatever reason they can shut off access to your account without any reason really without any explanation without any kind of notice as to why they're doing that and that is a problem because it means that people who spend years of their lives putting content into these centralized systems uh, that are owned by these companies uh, basically are controlled in a sense by these companies in terms of what they can publish online and while there's obviously a need to make sure that, you know, certain types of content don't get distributed widely, uh, you know, any state secrets or, you know, things to do with, you know, I don't know terror, or bad things, you know, crime, stuff like that. Um, you know, you don't want those things to spread. And, you know, these companies, most of them have put in place a lot of algorithms and a lot of resources and research and development to block that kind of content. But they've also taken it to the point where anybody can complain pretty much about anything and block basically any account without so much as a message from the platform to the accused person or organization and just take off their entire site, which in some cases means getting rid of their entire business with the click of a mouse. Um, and that is just not something that most companies normally would accept, right? Just leaving your entire business hanging in the balance of the whim of another company. Uh, but what can you do about it, right? Well, at the moment, if you use centralized systems, like I just spoke about, WhatsApp, what, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Google, Pinterest, all those places, there's really not much you can do, right? You're at their mercy. But along comes cryptocurrency. And cryptocurrency is this digital cash, right? Some people use it as gold or stored value. Some people have it, you know, use it for utility, whether it's to uh, exchange things on a public ledger, you know, and avoid having to deal with banks and all of that stuff. Um, cryptocurrency allows people to conduct transactions of all kinds. And with things like smart contracts by Ethereum tokens, uh, for example, or others that have smart contracts, uh, you can insert a whole lot of conditions to transactions, right? That's the whole point. So you could, in theory, make a social network that is decentralized, a lot like Steemit is today. But even Steemit has its limits in terms of um, value as a, as a decentralized social platform because it, too, could be shut off by you know the owner of Steemit, right? And so you could lose access to that. But what if you own your own social profile, right? What if there was a system or a site that provided social profiles on the public ledger, which you own with your public and private keys, right? You own access to it with your public keys. You own uh, you know, control of it with your private keys, so no one can take that away from you. And this would protect the user, right, from any site being able to shut it off, right? So you would actually post all of your content to your public ledger. And then any social media platform that, you know, is compatible with that technology would then allow you to post automatically all the content that's in your public ledger to your social media profile on their site, on the platform. So, and you could have it be, you know, it would point to the public ledger as the authoritative content so that the search engines would know, ah, this is 
the content of such and such person. It's verified, and we can, you know, uh, demonstrate uh, that we know where the content is coming from and when it was posted, which is the original copy, and which are all the duplicate content copies, which are the translated content copies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can do all kinds of things, uh, and basically optimize for SEO even through your public ledger profile, right? Which would allow you to do all these things like use your public ledger profile for marketing purposes without having to worry that you build up a massive profile and then suddenly some site just shuts it off, right? Because even if they do, you still have all the content and you can plug it right back in to any other site that accepts this content, right? So that is one way that our agency has been thinking about doing uh, things a little differently, maybe work with some developers to develop this kind of social media tool uh, which would protect users again that's the whole idea from being owned essentially by the centralized systems um, and just to be clear i am not against facebook or youtube or anything i don't want them to you know necessarily go out of business or anything like that i have nothing against them they're, they're amazing tools and they've enabled billions of people to connect and do amazing things like it's you know, clearly a good thing, right? But they are public utilities, and by denying certain people access because of, well, unbased claims um, and unjustified claims, they're, you know, literally causing harm to a lot of people. And the process of recovery can be, you know, for a lot of folks, virtually impossible. And they have to then shift gears completely and go into new businesses or change careers or who knows what. Um, but it's not a good thing. And I've seen it happen to too many companies. And I, you know, I think it's not right when it happens just like that. So um, those are some thoughts. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I'd, I'd love to hear. So uh, definitely leave some comments in the old uh, comments below thing. And uh, subscribe, you know, click the subscribe button in the video. Uh, You'll see that if you hover or something like that over the video. Uh, anyway, leave us comments. Let us know what you think. Share this with people. I'd love to hear more about you know, what people think about the idea of having a decentralized social profile to protect your content permanently. All right. That's it, folks. Until next time, take care.